hung up the phone. <laughs> okay, we got another call. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi, I was calling about a freaking size bed you got on Craigslist. Uh huh. Is, do you still have it? I sure do. I still have it. I was, where, where are y'all at? You know, the thing is, because like, I've had a lot of people call. Uh huh. And it's, it's for my, it, the, the bed is my son's. Uh huh. But, you know, <clears throat> the little motherfucker, he doesn't listen. I told him, when you got a poo poo, you go to the bathroom. But when I wake up, and I go to his room to wake him up for school, he's got shit stains smeared all over the mattress. And he's writing, he's like, he's doing his schoolwork on the mattress. And I'm like, dude, you're never going to get a girlfriend like this. No wonder all the kids fucking beat you up and you come home with a black eye all the time. He's pissing in the shit, he's urinating. It's really fucked up. So I said, you know what? You don't deserve a bed. So you're going to sleep on the floor. At least then it would be easier to clean up. So, um, what time would you would you be available to pick up this? Um, so the bed is not in good condition? No, it's in good condition. It's just there's a lot of discoloration, that's all. Well, on here it says it's in good condition. It, it is good. in good condition. Physically, it's in great condition. It's just that there's severe discoloration. You know, it's not exactly the original color that it was. Okay, well, we're not interested then. Why not? Maybe you're inter interested in me. Maybe we can breed some uh, children that are not incontinent. <laughs> okay. That, that, you love me, don't you? You love me. If you love me, you'll stay on the line. I got another call. One second. Hello, how can I help you? Uh, left. <laughs> you're around? Uh, yeah, yes, left. This is Lefty. How can I help you? Yeah, um, I saw the, the listing in Craigslist for spandex. Yes, <laughs> that's yes. I have spandex for you, sir. You, um, sir. You, sir, are the first one to call for the spandex. Now, is this just <laughs> raw, uncut spandex? This is raw, uncut, one hundred percent pure, unadulterated, one hundred percent ass meat for you, sir. To so, go with the spandex. So, yeah, so it's not being made into anything. No, but I'm going to make you into my wife. When I get done with you, you're not going to be wearing just spandex. Come on down. What's your address? <laughs> I live in Venice. You live in um, Venice, and you sound like you would invite this with open arms. Well, I, I'm not sure anymore. Well, um, you're not sure anymore. Why not? Listen, I life is like too short to be unsure. Okay. No, you sound like a great guy. This is um, not. This is not like. Uh, this is not like uh, some sort of pregnancy deal. Okay, you're never going to have children. Okay, you can adopt a kid with me. We can talk about that later when I make you my wife. No, no, that's fine. Um, now, what's uh, your name, Big Sexy? No, <laughs> I'm Mike, and you, and you're Lefty. I'm Lefty. Uh, you sound like a great American, Lefty. Um, what were you? I, I, I am a great American. American. I am a great American giving away spandex to somebody like you who really needs it. What were you going to use the spandex for? Or maybe I don't want to know. You don't want to know. How about you come over and I'll show you what I was going to use it for? <laughs> um, that sounds really interesting. It, sound, it sounds like somebody just sprung an erection. Um, I always have one. I oh, you always have one? Well, that's, that's not good because you work at a daycare, and that's, un, that's not safe. That is not safe. Um, gee whiz, four boxes of spandex. Man, oh, man. Um, God, my wife's going to kill me if I come back with four boxes of spandex. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's okay. You do your wife's cheating anyway, dude. Why do you think she's out so late walking the dog for four hours after 2 a.m.? How, how big are these boxes? <laughs> what, what does it matter, dude? Well, it's storage, it's storage issues. Uh huh. Well, so so who else do you live with besides your wife? Uh, don't, don't interrogate me. How big are is, you, is your wife interested in becoming a third wheel? Because that's what she would be. We, we we're not going to phase her out entirely, but we'll keep her around for legacy purposes.
You know, oh, hold up, take me around. Yeah, we'll keep him around. <laughs> How big are the boxes, man? Well, listen, you're kind of boring, dude. I got another call, all right? So just shut the fuck up. Just shut your fucking mouth and sit there like a bitch, okay? Because I got another call. Do not say a word, not even uh, like a peep, like as if I was fucking your wife and you were sitting right there in a chair watching without being tied to it. Because we wouldn't need to tie you, because you would enjoy it, because you'd be wishing you could masturbate. Now just hold on. My wife's, another... a, my wife's a fucking porn star. <laughs> hold on, I got another call. Here we go. Hello, how can I help you? Yes, I'll call him Roger Ed on Craigslist. Well, hi there, country gal. How are you doing? I'm fine, and you? I'm doing great. Are you looking for a rodeo to go to tonight? No. Do you like rodeos? No. Hello? Oh, jeez. Uh, so, yeah, what are you looking for? The king size bed. The king size bed, nigga. What's up, shawty? Are you black? Yes. Uh, yeah, nigga, what's up? Shit, I almost, shit, nigga, I almost talked to you like a white person. My bad, nigga. What's poppin'? I'm good, but I'm not no nigga either. Yeah, nigga, shit, I'm a nigga too. What you talking about, dude? Don't be ashamed, nigga. You said dude. Okay, whatever. Anyway, the bed. Now, the bed, I'm a, are you, <laughs> shawty, what's up? You don't, you don't like the, you don't like the bed in the, in the shelters? No. Nah. Uh, does, does the shelter uh, director, does the, does the director of management <laughs> know that you're going to be bringing in your own custom bed at the shelter? Hey, dude, What, for real, nigga? What? Don't, don't make me come over to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. You trade me that weave you're wearing, and I'll throw in a watermelon. Hello? Oh, she hung up. That's some Kool Aid. <laughs> okay, so 901, are you still on the line? Yeah. Hey, so what do you guys think? I think you're crazy. You think I'm crazy? Okay. But you, but you thought it was true. funny. You thought it was funny, didn't you? It is funny, but you're crazy. All right, well, would you, yeah. be, disappointed, would you be disappointed uh, in not getting what you thought you were going to get? Well, I was interested in a king-size bed, but I'm obviously not getting one. Well, can I, you know what? I will go out and get a king-size yeah, bed. Just Obviously for you, all right? Getting up and, ain't nobody getting up in here, but no, nah, it was entertaining. It was definitely entertaining, and uh, I hope you're still interested in me there, uh, king-size bed woman. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hey, enjoy that king-size while you watch that freaking 24-inch TV that I was supposed to get. <laughs> yeah, no, man, we post ads on Craigslist, and you're probably going to see a bunch of people screaming bloody murder. In a couple of minutes on Craigslist because people get, I've had people threaten to call, th people threatening to call 911 over what I say to them over the phone. It's like, you called me. And what if I really did have a TV or a bed and I just didn't want to give it to you because I didn't like your attitude? You're going to go on Craigslist and say it's a scam. And you know, people are so sensitive. <laughs> this is like a harsh, you know, a rude awakening that they really need. You know, it's because they're, they're calling me up looking for a handout, and then when I smack them over the fucking head, they get all pissed off and shit, you know? <laughs> he called me a Mexican! You know, I'm telling you, man, it's fucking... <laughs> there are... There's a lot of... You sound... I'm sorry, but you sound pretty freaking right. What? What are you talking about? No, I'm not saying me as a Mexican. No, I'm saying that I've called other people a Mexican. You know, like... When they call in, I've called oh, okay. them, you know, like, oh, you sound like a Mexican. We're not giving away TVs to Mexicans. You know, shit like that. And so they get so angry, they run on Craigslist, and uh, they post really like, oh, my God, don't call this number, you know, this blah, blah, blah. They freak out. Dude. They freak the fuck out. <laughs> These people call 911 when there's not enough pickles on their fucking cheeseburger. The same exact <laughs> kind of people, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> 